Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a luxury makeup haul. I went through and picked out all the new releases on like Saks, Neiman's, Bloomingdale's, everything that kind of jumped out at me that I was interested in trying, I put into my cart and I'm going to show you what I bought. If you're interested in any of these items, as always, they will be listed and linked down in the description box and you can shop. But let's get into these new luxury makeup releases that I have picked up recently. Okay, I have so much makeup in front of me. Like this is probably the biggest haul I've had since my Sephora sale haul. So let's start with what is on my lips right now. I picked up the two new releases from Clay de Poe. These are so good, you guys. They are so luxurious. If you buy one thing, let it be this. This specifically, this is the Clay de Poe Cream Rouge Shine in 201 Orchid. It is so beautiful. It's what I'm wearing today. It's a beautiful, nice spring pink, everyday pink that is going to look good on so many different skin tones. And then I also got this shade here, which is a gorgeous topper in the shade 302 Mokara. This is the Cream Rouge Sparkles. They have several different tones of this, but I bought the more peachy tone. So be careful when you're picking them out. I'm sure they're all beautiful. And then what is on my eyes today? I did a tutorial um, that will be coming up next for you, but I got this palette at Saks. I had no idea that they carried Sigma pal palettes, and I haven't actually I used to get sent Sigma products a long time ago when I first started my channel, but I guess they took me off their PR list. So um, this is the first thing I bought in a really long time because I just don't see it that often. I don't know where it's sold, I guess, other than their website. But this is the mini eyeshadow palette in the warm neutrals. Oh my, <laughs> like, I can't even, I mean, you can see it on my eyes now. I can't even describe to you how beautiful this palette is. If you want a palette to where you don't have to worry about it being way too pigmented, hard to blend, this is the easiest blending, most beautiful shades of a neutral, warm neutral palette that you have ever seen. The shimmers are nice. This is the palette that you need to get. This is the only palette I think I need in my, like I regret purchasing every other palette because this one has all of my perfect shades. Okay, and then the mascara that I got and have on is the Louboutin Mascara. This is pretty expensive for a mascara. It's way more than Chanel. I think it was $55. This is the Lift Ultima in black. This thing is, I mean, it's like a weapon. Like this thing is so heavy, but it is so luxurious. I really, really, I didn't want to like this mascara because of the price tag and they do have an, a waterproof version, but I really love it. I mean, do I think it's worth $55 and can you find a mascara comparable somewhere else probably? Yes. Did I buy it anyway and probably going to keep it? Yes, because I just like it. I like luxury makeup um, and I've worked hard to be able to deserve it. So I do like that mascara. It's really nice. Um, it did provide a nice lift for me. I like that it just hugs every single lash. So I'm really excited to have that. Um, and then the foundation that I splurged on, I just got the refill because I mean, if I can save some money, I'm going to save some money. But the Clay de Poe, this is their new release cushion foundation. It's the Radiant Cushion Foundation Dewy. And I am in the shade Medium Ochre. It's what I'm wearing today. I will show it in action on my in my next video. But I've already taken it out of the plastic. You get a little plastic protector. You get a little puff, which I would not recommend using. I used a 101 brush from BK Beauty. This is the refill. So you don't need the compact unless you just want the compact. It's a really beautiful um, foundation, but I don't know. You'll just have to try it. You'll have to let me know what you think. It, it didn't just knock my socks off, but it is, it's pretty. It's a pretty foundation, but I think there are drugstore foundations that are uh, honestly better than that. I'll just be really honest with you. So I think the lips are worth it. I don't think the foundation's worth it. It's, it is really pretty. I mean, it's nice. It's hydrating. It does have, I think you're paying that high price tag because of the skincare that's in it and the better ingredients that are in it. So maybe that does make a difference if you're into that. I picked up a Lancome Ideal because they 
came out with new lip liners or like new, I don't know, did they repackage or reformulate? Who knows? But that is what is on my lips today with that lip combo and it is beautiful. I think I got that actually at Ulta on sale or no, I got it at Macy's. This powder I am going to try again because I don't think I like it with the foundation, the Clay de Peau foundation, but I got the new NARS. This is the Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. Okay, let me tell you, it is really hard to beat my MAC Studio Fix Powder. The reason I get foundation powders is not to set my whole face. It is to bronze my face and give me just a little bit more coverage at the same time. So this is also really difficult to open because of it's, it's really thin. Um, and this is in the shade High Tide. It just didn't wow me. It didn't wow me. It takes a lot for a powder to wow me. Um, and it didn't wow me like the, like the MAC Studio Fix. So I don't think, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna keep it and try it and do all that, but I wouldn't say just run out and purchase it. I tried out the Tom Ford Concealer. This is their new release, a Nordstrom exclusive. It's the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Concealer. This is really nice. So this is the 2NO Cream. Perfect shade for me if you are similar to my skin tone. It's in a really nice package per usual and it's just gorgeous. I mean, I really, really like this for an everyday concealer that is light to medium coverage. It's going to cover you but it's not gonna be like your shape tape, but it is very hydrating. It has that hyaluronic acid in it, really good ingredients to keep your under, under eye nice and supple throughout the day, but don't let that scare you because it didn't crease on me. And when I set it with powder, it's virtually indetectable. It looks just like skin. So highly recommend this. Do I think it's worth $60? I've never tried anything else like it, so. I will keep you updated. I also picked up a Chanel eyeliner. This is the Stilo Long Lasting Eyeliner in Prune Intense. This is a purple tone liner. I have it in my waterline today. It's really pretty, but again, do I think it's any better than drugstore products? No, I don't. And every time I open it, it is like comes right out of the package. So I think it might be old, I'm not sure. Um, but it's a really beautiful shade. But I do know that they have similar shades to this at the drugstore in the, I think it's the, the L'Oreal line. So I will try to link that down below for you. If you wanna have, if you have green eyes, um, hazel eyes like me, then try a purple eyeliner. I picked up the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder in the shade Rose. So this is the number three. This powder is really nice. I get the hype. I understand the hype. I did kind of make a mess of mine when I was doing the tutorial or like the get ready with me first impressions. It's really beautiful. Highly recommend this. Um, I would wait if you can. If you don't need a powder right now, I would wait for it to go on sale at Sephora or Saks or wherever. Um, I'll try to list and link any sales that they're having down below. Okay, let's see. I picked up all four shades of the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Blush Wands. I am going to do a separate video on this. Let's just see what this one looks like. I didn't use these in the tutorial today, but they come in the standard Charlotte Tilbury um, wand packaging and they look beautiful online from what I've seen. I can't wait to try them. So I will list those and link those down below for you guys. And then a cream blush. I have been so excited to try this line for the longest time. It's Nude Envy and I found it at Saks. So this is the cream blush in Ibiza Nude and it is what I have on today. It is Basically, my favorite powder blush, which is MAC Melba in a cream form. So, I couldn't be more excited to have this in my collection, especially for summer coming. I like a an all cream face and just maybe a little bit of powder on and I'm out the door. I don't like to wear a ton of makeup in the summer, especially if I'm like out and about in the heat and humidity. So, 
Um, let's see, what else did I get? I got three other things from Nude Envy. So this is the shade Whisper. Let's see, I think this is the lip gloss. Yeah, so this is the lip gloss. Really, really pretty. It's a huge doe foot applicator. I don't think it's gonna be nude enough for me though. So that's the shade Whisper. And then this is the shade in their lipstick called Lips. This is what they used on Pamela Anderson in her video. It's really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. And it smells good too. So I'm excited to try that. I can't wait to try that. And then I also got the shade Pure. So let's see the difference in these. Oh wow. Okay, so this is Pure. Pure is more peachy and then Lips is more pink. So Pure and then Lips. And then I also picked up this lipstick. My friend Lisa showed this and I had to have it. So it is the uh, Shaping Cream Lipstick by Lancome in Tinder Mirage 250. I think this was also a Pamela Anderson used on her lipstick. <laughs> um, you push the bottom down and then lift like this. And then this is the shade. I'll tell you what this reminds me of is Dunsante by, I think it's Dior. Really, really pretty. And I'm excited to have that in my collection. I thought since we were showing um, lips, I would go ahead and show you the order I placed with Doll Beauty. I've never ordered anything from there before, but I got a ton of new lipsticks. So I will link these for you down below. These are a UK brand. Um, but I got the shade FOMO in the lip gloss, which is really pretty. And then I also got the shade Golden Girl. These are a recommendation from Sam Sherman. I was watching one of her older videos and she shared this. So one of them is more pink and one of them is more peach, but I don't think you can really tell a difference. We'll see. What else did I get from them? I got three lipsticks. FOMO, Dolled Up. Oh wait, did I get two of the same lipstick? Shoot. This is FOMO. It's cute, it has little hearts on the outside. It's like a peachy, more peachy myth is this one. She's nude lipstick dolled out. I think I ordered two of the same thing accidentally, so I'll have to send one of these back if they are the same thing, but they come in different packaging, that's weird. Um, let's see. Ooh, this is pretty. So dolled out is more of your pink, pink nude. You can see it better back here. I must have just ordered two of the same thing accidentally. So I'll have to send that back. I think that is everything for, oh, let me show you how good the gift with purchase was from Lancome. You get this beautiful bag. This was on Macy's, I believe. So I got a, um, Hydrating Comforting Toner, a Lancome Genifique Serum, which is supposed to be really good, the Lancome Absolute Rich Cream, great for travel if you're going anywhere for summer, finally getting to try the Lancome Edol, so excited about this, and then just wait, just wait. You get a Le Creon Coal, this is the Lancome in the shade Black Coffee, you also get a bronzer. This is the Star Bronzer Natural Glow in Lumiere. Like, can you believe this was in, this is like perfect for travel. This was in the thing. Okay, Absolute Soft Cream. And then the Absolute Eye Cream. So everything you need for a face of makeup besides a lipstick in your little bag. I think it was with like certain amount of per, a certain amount you spent, you get this gift. So I am thrilled with these new purchases. As always, I'll leave everything linked for you down below in the description bar. I think you just hit more and then it'll drop down. And I'll also pin a comment with all the links 
down in the comments. So, ooh, my jewelry is new from Dean Davidson. It's his new Soul Collection. So, let me back up. It's a sophisticated resort collection um, that you can wear year round, it says. Taking inspiration from the sun and sea, each piece beautifully captures the light, featuring curved gold discs, golden discs, checkered cut gemstones, and two vibrant new colors. We can't to see how can't wait to see how you style the sunlit pieces of soul. So I'll show you. This is the um, if you can see, this is the shade that I chose. It's more of like that turquoise color. And then they also have a bright, vibrant orange. If you were. So I got this beautiful pendant knockout stud necklace. I got the gorgeous ring. This bangle is stunning. And then look how pretty the matching or coordinating huggies are. They're stunning. I wear my mini dune huggies almost every single day they're the perfect everyday earring especially if you have um, if you just like a simple gold hoop so i will link all of that down for you in the description bar i also have a discount code of 25 percent off so rel25 will get you 25 percent off of the dean davidson website such good gifts if you know someone that's having a birthday these pieces are so luxurious, goes perfectly with our luxury makeup haul. So I'll leave everything linked down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.